Here we go with UCLA and Oregon State. Uh, another decent game here, certainly, with uh, the way these two play, especially the Beavers. It's been fun. It's still fun. All right. This one opened uh, around four and a half, and it did touch five, but uh, right now, uh, moves been on UCLA, certainly, as we're down to three and a half here, and the totals even dipped again today at 53 and a half. As this one continues, you know, right now to uh, uh, get hit lower uh, a little bit here in this one. It's, uh, you know, you think of uh, Oregon State with Talia Tagavailoa and, you know, his great season so far. UCLA, uh, is their defense mediocre on the road, subpar on the, you know, just above average, you know, on the road? Now, I've seen a lot of cappers in this uh in this game on the total under, we've seen that it opened 55 and a half now down, like I said, to, uh, well, 54, 53 and a half. Now I'm seeing, uh, even in this one in some spots. So, uh, enough action here, I would say to the under, Let's see, let me just peek at something here. All right. Gonna need gonna need that uh, computer to get here pretty soon so I can get back to my five computer life and not have to go back and forth between or I guess I could become a little bit more adept with multiple browsers <laughs> thank you guys for being patient with me here on this okay uh so ucla you know been, been decent certainly on the road having won nine of their last 12 games and uh oregon state right now they're on the run of a lifetime had me researching uh oregon state information the other night as i watched one of my uh, personal but i was watching one of my high school teams that i like to follow that or having a, a season like they haven't had in 20 years. So I was kind of researching some of the history of that program, and uh, they introduced some – this program's really been on, hot and on the rise, and they were introducing some players from the past, and they have to go way back because they haven't been great. And they, interview, they uh, introduced a, a man who uh, uh, – went to Oregon State and was on the member of that, maybe, you know, almost the last when Oregon State had an incredible 1967, and they were called the Giant Killers. Uh, they were the first team, one of the, I don't know if it's ever happened since, but they uh, beat two number one teams and tied the number two team in a, in a, a four-week span, something that had never been done, and they were dubbed the Giants. They didn't even win the conference title. I think the Bruins uh, might have actually won at that. Maybe it was SC, but, well, because the big result was Oregon State uh, beat USC, that OJ, one of the O.J. Simpson teams that were so good in 1967. So that's <laughs> – I know Oregon State's had a little bit of success since, and some great players too, but just had me – uh kind of down a rabbit hole the other night. A little bit of steam just came in. We talked about that Georgetown game at minus one and a half. The total under right now is being hit as well at 42 and a half. Uh, right now uh, it opened 44 and a half. It's down some places to 40. So you see how fast these are moving. Georgetown and Lehigh under. And there's more lines coming out right now. So stand by. We're going to get you more uh, FCS steam moves uh, here as they go along because now we're getting not only the new noontime starts but the 1 p.m. starts are going off as well and uh, well my team plays I'm a U, uh, U.S. Uh, University of San Diego fan and I might watch but we're one and four and we got it has not been a season at all so steam play coming in right now. Be ready, you guys. Let's have those screens open. 
Uh, these aren't picks, so I'm just telling you where the line's moving. Princeton and Brown over. Princeton and Brown is getting hit over right now. It opened 42. It's now 44. That game is just opening and on the move. Princeton and Brown going over. It's getting steamed right now. All right. Uh, so I think we're ready to roll, though, of UCLA uh, and Oregon State here. Um, yeah, I'm on the under in this one. Um, do I have, you know, concerns with sometimes uh, UCLA? You know, I, 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 I do, but I think that uh, maybe because, you know, Oregon State, as good as they've been, um, this is still, you know, pretty tough game. UCLA is actually covered in 10 of the last 13 meetings. Now, we know this is completely different. Uh, I get that, but uh, UCLA has gone under in four of their last five games and moves, obviously, here. Um, you know, on the Bruins, and there's sharp guys certainly on Oregon State here. Oregon State's covered 10 of their last 11 at home and 11 of their last 13 overall. On the under here as my free play in this one.